This summer, ITS has been working hard to upgrade our classroom computers to Windows 10. We're excited about the added features, but we know it can seem like a big change if you haven't used it before. So here's a short video to show you what most people need to teach with Windows 10. There are two easy ways to access your files. You can click on the File Explorer icon on the taskbar. This will give you a window that should feel familiar. From here you can locate and open your USB drive, share drives that you've previously added, or folders and files on the PC. Another way of accessing this window is to click on the This PC icon on the desktop. This PC is the new name for my computer. The easiest way to find applications is to use the Windows 10 search functionality. Click on the circle on the taskbar. This will open the search function. Type the name of the application or file that you're looking for, for example, PowerPoint. The search function will find the application, then click on the icon and PowerPoint opens. So if I type the name of other applications, such as Word, SPSS, or Chrome, I can quickly and easily find the applications I need. If you don't have the circle icon on your taskbar, don't panic. Click the Windows icon and just start typing the name of the application or file that you're looking for. This will seem strange because there's nowhere to type, but Windows 10 will know you're searching and start to find what you need. Finally, some of the most common applications, such as PowerPoint, Word, and Excel, will appear on the Windows menu. So just click the Windows icon to find these applications. At the end of class, don't forget to log off. To do so, click on the Windows icon, and then click the Person icon on the left menu bar. Choose Sign Off, and that's what you need to know in order to get started with Windows 10. If you need any more help, don't hesitate to contact us at the help desk. Thank you.